I think my dad might be a pedophile. I don't have concrete proof for this, and I haven't told anyone about my suspicions either. Maybe I'm just being crazy, but I can't keep this to myself any longer. I usually live with my mom, but she had to temporarily move in with my grandparents because of grandpa's health. I've been staying with my dad since last month. I actually don't really know him and he's kind of an asshole. He lives with my aunt and cousins. I don't really know them either and my cousins are all younger than me, so we don't really spend time together. I noticed that my dad treats my male cousin very different than he treats my female cousins. He pretty much only pays attention to him AMD, doesn't seem interested in interacting with the girls. It might just be because he's a boy. But I noticed that most of their interactions involved touching of some sort and that my dad almost always initiated it. I also caught him watching my cousin on multiple occasions which isn't anything weird, but the look on his face was making me a bit uncomfortable. My cousin often wants my dad to play in his room with him and they usually always close the door. A few days ago, I was walking past my cousin's room and heard my dad telling my cousin that he would show him something soon, but that he has to promise not to tell anyone. The way he was saying it just gave me the ick. I really want to tell my aunt about this, but I've only been here for a little over a month. What if that's just how they normally interact and there's nothing bad going on? Maybe I'm just reading everything wrong, but I'm just getting a bad vibe out of it. Update. Hey everyone. I made a post on Sunday evening about my dad's strange behavior towards my five-year-old cousin. After I got home from school on Monday, I called my mom and told her everything I had noticed. She asked to speak to my aunt. I don't know the details of that conversation, but they talked for almost an hour. Afterwards my aunt just handed me back my phone and went upstairs. I didn't follow her, but she came down about half an hour later with my cousin. He was crying uncontrollably and she looked close to tears as well. She sat him down on the couch and asked if I could watch him. She went upstairs again while I tried to calm down my cousin. She came back with my dad's laptop and a box, then she called the police. When my dad came home from work, they arrested him. They confiscated a few more things and asked us to give our statements. We went to the station this morning to give a more detailed statement. There was a social worker who tried to speak to my cousin, but he refused to talk to her. He hasn't said anything at all since yesterday, and my aunt has been discussing different therapist options with the social worker. I think the worst part about this whole situation is that my aunt and my mom already knew what my dad was like. When we got home, I asked my aunt how she found the evidence in my dad's room so fast, and she confessed that she'd known he had it all along, but he had promised her to stay away from her children. I also called my mom again to give her an update, and she said she found the pictures on my dad's laptop shortly after I was born, which is the reason they broke up. On the bright side, my grandpa is doing much better, so she and I can move back home soon.